Hi, paper crafters. Welcome to another Design with Joe video. I'm Joanne Rogers, a Stampin' Up! demonstrator in Central Alberta, Canada, and I've been designing with you in mind since 1999. Today, I want to share another Joe Tips video for you. This one is answering the question, how long do I heat embossing powder? I have already stamped and applied embossing powder to my image, and you can see how I do that in the video that's up top. But what I'm going to do now is I'm going to heat them. And the first one I'm going to heat not enough. And I know that that's not heated enough because I have areas that are shiny, which is what this particular powder should look like. And a lot of embossing powders are shiny, but I also have areas where they're dark and where it's dark and not reflecting any light, and let me just do that for you, it means that it's not been heated up yet. And what I can actually do is swipe my finger across and I can re still remove embossing powder. So that one's not heated enough. Now I'm gonna show you what it looks like if you heat it too long. So when you heat it too long, and I'm just going to let that dry for a moment because it is still hot. It needs just a couple seconds to set up. But when you heat it too long, it gets almost blurry. What it does is you heat it so long that it sinks right into the paper. So over here, I have a little ridge and you'll be able to feel that when you do your own stamping. Here, I don't have so much of a ridge. Now, depending on your heat tool, you could have one that's really, really hot. This one is not, it is hot certainly enough to do uh, heat embossing, but it's not so hot sometimes that I held it there quite a long time and it did not burn the paper. But some heat tools will actually start to burn your paper and you could start a fire. So you do not want to hold it in one place a long time. So let me show you the right amount, the right, right amount of time and uh, sort of the proper way to heat emboss. So when you're embossing, what you want to do is take your heat gun and you want to hold it in one area. Turn, I'm going to turn it on in a minute. Hold it in one area. And when you see that melt and turn shiny, you're immediately going to turn it or move it to another area. Let me show you. So I'm holding it here on the corner and it's hot here. So I can see that that's turned shiny already. And I'm hoping that you can see that too. So I just followed all the way around the outside of this boat until I, it is done. So that's long enough. So again, I'm just gonna wait for a couple seconds. If I were to touch it when it's hot, you can actually smear that because it's tiny little pieces of plastic that you've melted on. So that's cool enough now. And when I run my finger, I, there is definitely some ridges there, meaning that it's a little bit of a raised edge on your stamped piece. I hope you find that tip useful. And if you have any questions about the paper crafting world, drop me a line at joe at designwithjoe.ca. I'd be happy to answer it for you. And if you're not yet on my email list, why not pop on over to www.designwithjoe.ca and get yourself signed up. I send weekly emails full of tips and tricks, all kinds of different ideas and designs, and whatever the latest news is in the Stampin' Up! paper crafting world. I'd love to have you join in there too. Thanks very much, and I hope you have a great day.